everybody, this is Charles again here with another video. And as always, it's a vlog. So I'm going to talk about things going on with my channel, my personal life, so you get the drill. First things first, well, July, I know San Diego Comic Con is going on. So I even have a friend who is going there. He would show me pictures on Facebook. I, I can tell he's having an absolute absolutely fantastic time and speaking of cons I did went to SACCON and Fandemic Tour I almost said Wizard World and I've been thinking that as fun as they are and I met wonderful people I buy lots of cool stuff I decided that I'm not gonna go to every single con every year I'm just gonna go to two or one at most so I went to and since there was another SACCON coming in October, I had thoughts if I should go or not. Most likely not, but who knows. I mean, I already went to SACCON earlier this year, so I can't say for sure because, like I said, there are no promises or guarantees. And well, considering I do a lot of variety on my channel since that's been my goal ever since I first started this channel, there are some things that will be on breaks or hiatuses or some things going on like my previous videos are reviews and they've been on time and on schedule which makes me glad it's on time and I was glad to review them, edit them, film them just to get out of the way. There are some series that I do plan to continue some that will be on hiatus like Gameplay videos like my series Charles Plays. I don't know if I would continue that or not. I do plan to have a Q&A for at least once this year because I love the Q&A series. It's for you guys to get to know me much more and I absolutely have fun answering all your questions. For movie and TV show reviews, that really depends. Like. I mean, movie and TV show reviews, they take up a lot of time and energy, especially if I just watch the newest movie, I would get so tired and I have to film it, I just want to rest. So, movie and TV show reviews, um, they'll pop up every now and then and you'll see. And I have plenty of discussion videos and rant videos, I have plenty of topics literally written down. So, look, I hope you guys look forward to that. And I had. A variety of topics to talk about so I hope you guys look forward to that too and collecting is a fun but expensive hobby so I've decided there are hobbies well there are some toys I will take a break from and yes I said a break I'm not gonna quit them I'm not gonna give them up completely I still enjoy some but Considering that I collect a variety of toys from different toy lines, from different fandoms and franchises, I mean, there's bound to be, I don't know, ups and downs, and I've been given the compliment that I cover a lot of fandoms, and I sincerely take that compliment to heart, but the one major drawback of having a lot of interest is that sometimes you feel like you focus more on one than the other, so... As of now, um, I will take a break from collecting Marvel Legends unless it's a character I really do like. Like, I know I want Psylocke and Elektra. I did say I, I'm a fan of both those characters. I really want the new Carnage with the alternate unmasked head and the alternate hands with the axe arm. And the new Venom with the Eddie Brock head because, I mean, I already have a Venom, but this one has an alternate head, so that may interest me. But otherwise, I will take a break from Marvel Legends. I love Marvel Legends or just Marvel Comics in general, but I've been collecting a lot of that recently and not enough of other toy lines. However, once the break is done and I collect toys from other toy lines, I will go back to collecting Marvel Legends as soon as possible. And there are toys that I did want to collect or focus more on, like Transformers, obviously, because Literally, my very first toy review was a Transformers review, and I love Transformers. It's in my big five, my top five, my favorite five, my top five favorite fandoms. Even my own friends who are familiar with my big five know what I'm talking about. I definitely want to collect more DC Multiverse or DC Universe Classics toys. 
And, well, I've also been getting more into Gundam model kits or Gunpla for any Gunpla fans. You know, I love Gundam. It's one of my favorite fandoms. Is it my most favorite thing in the world? No, but, like, it's more in the secondary category when it comes to my favorite interests and fandoms. So, <clears throat> so, I will be taking a break from Marvel Legends, and for Star Wars, um, I may pick and choose, like, I'm getting back into the 3.75 inch line, like, for the 6 inch figures, unless it's a character I really like or is really good, um, I'm gonna take a break from the 6 inch line, I'm gonna focus more on the 3.75 inch line, like, like, Vintage Collection, Saga Legends, Saga Collection, so you get the gist. So, that's one hard part of being a collector. The budget and the finance. But then again, most hobbies are expensive anyway, so there's always going to be pros and cons. And there are reviews I plan to do, some discussions and rants. So, I really hope you guys look forward to that. And, who knows, even if I do manage to review a movie, I have to pick carefully because there are some movies that really interest me that I want to review like the new Predator film because I love Predators. I love Aliens and Predators although I prefer Predators. My buddy to Tony Oletta knows I love Predators. So yeah who knows but we'll see. But yeah life's keeping me busy and I know some of you guys feel the same because well that's life it gets in the way. So <clears throat> So I hope you guys are doing fantastic. And before I end this video, I'm going to share a very small haul. So I hope you guys enjoy. First up, this just came in yesterday in the mail. Star Wars Clone Wars. Not Star Wars THE Clone Wars, the 2008 CGI animated series. This was the first Clone Wars series that was hand-drawn by Genndy Tartakovsky, who's one of, my favorite, one of my favorite animators who did Dexter's Laboratory and Samurai Jack. I just love the animation. It just holds up incredibly well. And a little bit of trivia. It first aired on November 7th, 2003. And that's that was my ninth birthday. So that was the best birthday gift I've ever had. I mean, Clone Wars airing on my birthday. How cool was that? And I was just nine years old too. I hope to get volume two one day to complete the collection. And I still, still need the 2008 Complete Series Clone Wars on Blu-ray. I already have Season 6 on DVD. And there's going to be a season, a season 7. I am so damn excited for that. Next up is this Voltron figure of the Green Lion from Legendary Defender. In one of my other vlogs, I did cover that I did have the Red Lion, and the reason why I haven't reviewed the Voltron lines yet is because I want to collect all of them, and then later on review them one by one so I can build up for Voltron. So far I only have Red and Green, so I hope to get the rest. And Voltron Legendary Defender, now it's released on DVD, so there's no more excuses because I don't have Netflix, but I really want to watch the show, so I'm going to buy that DVD sooner or later. I bought this model kit tool set. It has a screw cutter, hobby knives, sanding files, tweezers. Mostly because I did say I like to collect Gunpla, and I really didn't need this because my old sprue cutter was worn out anyway. You know, I know some really hardcore Gunpla fans, they really want to put their heart and soul into it. Like, remove the nubs as best as they can. Like, they want to make it clean and flat. But for me, I don't mind nub marks. Like, if it's a little really insignificant mark that you barely see, uh, that doesn't bother me. But... If it's like a really big hunk of plastic, yes, I'm going to snip that off. But unlike most Gunpla fans, I just snip them off with a sprue cutter. You know, instead of a hobby knife. I know a lot of Gunpla fans will murder me for saying that. But, hey, we're all different. I mean, I'm just happy with my own models. And speaking of Gunpla, last and definitely not the least, 
I have the real grade Gundam Exia. I mean, to be honest, this is actually my second one because three years ago I actually bought one at a comic book store. I tried to build it and then I failed miserably and broke it. So I bought a second one just in case. And the Gundam Exia is one of my favorite Gundams. I know I say that a lot because there's a lot of cool Gundams when it comes to design or how the actual fictional mobile suits are. But this is definitely one of my favorites. Like, along with Shining Gundam and the RX-78 too. I mean, I just love the sleek design, the colors. I especially love the pilot, who's the main hero of the Gundam O, Double O series. So, that's been my mini haul. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope you all enjoyed the vlog itself. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.